Hello and welcome. I'm Clueless Mike and you're watching Modeling for Advantage. Roll the VT. So today the Kaiser has sent me over another box of goodies. Can you guess what it is? This time it is Combat Patrol The Thousand Suns. The Sons of Magnus, the rogue psychers that turned to chaos when the Emperor decided no, you should not be using psycho powers and then Magnus turned up in the throne room to say, are you sure dad, I think we should and bugger the whole of the history of the world. Okay, let's see what's inside. Let us tear the cellophane off of the Sons of Magnus, the Thousand Sons here. This box is slightly wider than one of the normal combat patrols and that's because you get a lot of plastic in here because of the amount of zangles you get. So let's put that down there, hopefully that's in shot. As usual we have our booklet, really thin booklet because there are only actually three different kits in this box which is a tad disappointing to my mind. Um, as usual, lovely colour coded build instructions show you all the stuff you can do with it. Useless stats. Bases, we have some nice 40mm bases for the Terminators and the Infernal Master and we have a ton of 32mm bases for all the zangles. What have we got here? Ah, so this explains a little bit about it. These look like upgrade sprues. We'll come back to them in a minute. As usual in these kits, we find on top we have the character sprue. So this is an Infernal Master. Uh, firstly, he was only available in a special box set of Grey Knights vs. Thousand Suns, so it's quite hard to get hold of, and I suspect they may have released him individually, but he's also in here. Um, Really cool looking model to start. I'm going to see, do I think there's many build options on the sprue? I suspect not because he's got quite a specific pose, but it is a really cool pose. Um, he's got, he's kind of like waving one hand in a circle and he is creating a portal and out of the portal are coming out little baby screamers of Tzich. Really cool looking. Absolutely love this model. On the table, he's pretty useful. He's basically a psychic chaplain. So similar to chaplains from Space Marines or I suppose um, whatever they're called, um, Dark Apostles in Chaos Space Marines, um, he can do litanies of sorts where he basically, I think his are called Infernal Packs. You roll a dice at the start of each turn on a free bus, you pass your pact and it does some cool effects and he does have some cool effects, some slightly different things to the psychic powers. Um, so really useful to have in your army. He's also a psyker though, like all Thousand Suns characters. He's a psyker, he's not the most powerful of them, but the Thousand Sons have access to so many good psychic powers that it's always useful having more psychers. And as I said before, model really nice, loads of little flourishes on it, like his backpack has all this eldritch energy coming off it. He's got a lovely great big cloak swirling around him, awesome portal opening, lovely model. You could probably convert this into a different type of model, so if you bought multiple of this kit, you could easily make a nice Lord character out of one of these because it's such a nice ornate kit. That backpack wouldn't look out of place on any of the other models. So really nice. Next up, we have the Terminator sprue. I'm trying to remember what Thousand Suns Terminators are called. It's escaping me at the minute. It's a Sekhmet Terminators or something like that. Something Egyptian sounding. So this is the Terminator sprue. It makes five of them. Uh, you get all your options here. I don't know why. There are six blades there. As far as I know, you can't take six blades on a squad of five models. Maybe you can. Maybe there's a dual blade option on the champion or something. There's a staff option for the champion. The champion gets to come with a cloak. I'm just trying to see if there's the rest of this kit in here. No, this is this is all on this one sprue. Ah, all the legs are over here. Uh, you get a big uh, Reaper chain gun. You get some missile racks. You get the really cool... Um, Heads and shoulder sections for the Terminators. They all get these really cool Inferno Storm, Inferno Storm Bolters. So in game, these are monstrous. They're probably the best unit in the Codex. They are super strong. You'd want, I reckon, at least 10 in each army. So multiple of this kit would really help in that regard. Um, not the most options, though. The Everything is coming with a sword and a bolt gun, other than one model who has a chain gun and one model who can have kind of like a missile rat plus the champion's few options. So two halves of the sprue make a Terminator. Not the most options there, but still a really strong unit. Now, this is what most of this box is. If I pull these out, oh, look at this amount of plastic we've got here. Four entire great big sprues worth. 
each of these sprues I think is exactly the same which is really disappointing so you've got 20 zangors in here I was hoping that would mean that you got a set of 10 zangors that you can make up in however which way you wanted and another set of 10 but it looks like when they sell a box of 10 of these you actually get two sets of five exact same sprues so when you're making up these 20 you're going to have loads of repeat models which i really dislike um zangors these are where these upgrade sprues come in so the zangor model is designed to be used in age of sigma as well as in 40k so on this base sprue here you'd make five zangors with zangor blades or zangor melee weapons um, and then they give you this little sprue here which has five auto guns and five chainsaws on which you can make them into more 40k-ish versions with a chainsaw and a little auto pistol or bolt pistol possibly. Looking at it, it looks like an auto pistol, so a really rubbish gun. I'd probably keep them with the Zangor blades. Uh, firstly, they look cooler than chainsaws. Uh, they're all nice special shapes. Then you could also use them in your Age of Sigmar army if you wanted to. And they've also got a better AP in close combat than a chainsaw. So better overall, I would say, than the pistols. Um, but yeah, 20 of these guys. Rules wise, they're okay. They're not brilliant. They're okay. There's nothing particularly wrong with them. I think they're seven points a model for a toughness four, strength four melee character. I think they might have a five up in Vance, possibly. Um, but other than that, they don't do a whole lot. And in a Thousand Suns army, it's all about the psychers. And if you're just taking basic rubric marines, who are the other troop choice option, they come with a psyker and they're actually pretty good as far as the troop goes. So you don't see much of these. So it's pretty disappointing that this box comes with 20 of these. I think this box would have been much improved by coming with 10 of these and then five rubric marines. But obviously that's not the way they've broken it down. So you get 20 of these in here. Sprue, 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 sprue. And then those upgrade screws. That's well over half this box is stuff that you're not going to want a huge amount of. And worse then they're a, a unit that's going to have loads of repeat models in. Obviously, you can mix and match the arms and such, but you're going to see the five basic torsos repeated four times in a unit of 20, which just not my favourite. In here, we have, lastly, a nice little decal sheet. Lots of cool stuff on there, loads of nice symbols. Um, it's a Chaos Space Marine one, though, which is a bit weird to be throwing in with the Thousand Suns. I'm trying to see if there are any Thousand Suns bits on there. Yes, so this bit here is the Thousand Sun section. So even though you're getting this great big transfer sheet, if you're into transfers for these particular models, you're only using that little section there, which again, just a just a little disappointing. You've got all this other cool space. You could have some really nice symbols where all you're getting is various different sizes of the infinity symbol with a snake eating itself or a dragon in this case by the looks of it. Okay, that is the Combat Patrol 4000 Suns. Not my favourite, to be frank, but if you're collecting 1000 Suns, and especially if you like Zangors and want a big unit of 20, it's no doubt reasonably good value. If you're still here and you're looking for ways to support the channel, there's obviously a lot of ways down in the description, but a key way is to use our affiliate links to Whaling Games and others. You buy your models from them, it doesn't cost you a penny more, and we earn a little bit of commission. Thank you.